in the middle of a shoot now. I will join you later. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of How To What Is. So since we've talked about the iPhone SE and also the iPad OS, we figured that we should do one on the latest Apple Watch, which is the Series 6 and how you can get the most out of Watch OS 7. Yeah, we'll be covering custom watch faces, music streaming, and tons of other really cool features. Sounds really interesting, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, she clearly is into it, so let's get into it. If you love the flexibility of customizing your own Memoji, you'll be happy to know that you can now display an Animoji or custom created Memoji on your wrist. So here's how you do it. First, open the Memoji app on your Apple Watch. Then, tap each feature and twist the digital crown to choose the options you want for your Memoji. You can customize your Memoji with different hairstyles or skin tone, so you can really go explore and have fun with it. Once you are done customizing your Memoji, click Done and it will be added to your collection. As you can see here, I've already made a Memoji, so if you want to add a new Memoji, tap the plus button. Oh, and do you know that if you tap on your watch, the expression of your Memoji changes as well? We actually find that super cute. But if the Memoji isn't your thing, or if you want to add more of a personal touch, you can create your own live wallpaper. Basically, you can create an animated wallpaper from a GIF image file, and it's a really easy process, and the best part of it is that it's free. First up, you'll need to find a GIF image file to use, or you can create one of your own from a video using a web-based tool such as Jiffy. Next, convert the GIF to a live photo, which you can also do with the Jiffy app on iOS. Finally, save the GIF as a live photo to the Photos app on your iPhone, select the new live photo, and click Edit. Finally, select the final frame of your live photo as your key photo. All that's left for you to do is to open the Watch app on your iPhone, select Face Gallery, and scroll to the Photo section, then pick the live photo. Can't find your iPhone? Don't worry, you can now track it down if you have your Apple Watch with you. To find your iPhone, simply swipe up to activate the control center and from there, tap the iPhone vibration icon and your phone should ring. Besides that, there's also a walkie-talkie feature on the Apple Watch, and this allows you to talk in real time with another person via your watch. And plus, it's a fun way to communicate between those of you who own an Apple Watch. The walkie-talkie feature works over the internet, not Bluetooth, so be sure to have your iPhone nearby if you want to use this feature. To use it, first go to your list of apps and search for the walkie-talkie icon. Tap the name of the contact with whom you wish to use walkie-talkie with, Contacts that already have Walkie Talkie set up will appear at the top of your list under Suggested. Tap the plus button on your contacts list to add additional contacts to Walkie Talkie. Okay, so your Apple Watch may not have a camera, but you can actually control the camera on your iPhone. When you click the Remote Camera app on your watch, you can see what your iPhone's camera sees. You can take a picture right away or you can have a 3 second delay in case you are in the shop. This is useful especially if you're taking group photos or you want to take long exposure shots so you don't have to set a timer on your smartphone. So it's always important to keep your hands clean, particularly now during the ongoing pandemic. And now there's a feature on your Apple Watch to help you keep your hands clean. Basically, the Apple Watch now automatically detects when you begin washing your hands and helps you to keep going for the amount of time recommended by the World Health Organization. On the Apple Watch, press on the digital crown and hit the Settings app. Within the Settings now, click on the Hand Washing option. In here, you'll have the option to activate or deactivate the hand washing feature. Or if you prefer, you can also change the settings from your iPhone. If you have your eye on someone else's watch face, there's actually a way for you to get them to share it with you. I mean, if they're okay la, with sharing with you, it requires mutual understanding. Yeah, those who want to see What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> to share watch faces, click on the watch face you want to share in your Apple Watch. Touch and hold the display, then click on Share. Tap Add Contact to add a recipient, then tap Create Message to compose your message. Once you are done, hit Send.
Spotify has finally pushed an update to the Apple Watch that users have been asking for, one that lets you stream music directly from your watch. At the time of shooting, the feature is still in beta, but you should still be able to use it. All you need to do is to open the Spotify app on your Apple Watch, click on the devices icon here, and select your Apple Watch. Unfortunately, you still can't download Spotify tracks for offline playback, which means that you'll need to be connected to Wi-Fi or you need the cellular version of the Apple Watch for this feature to work, which kind of sucks, actually. WatchOS 7 has also brought in support for more than one complication per app on a single watch face. To add complications, all you need to do is to press and hold the watch face on your home screen, click Edit, swipe left till you reach the complications menu and customize to your heart's content. Once you're done, click on the digital crown to confirm the watch face. So not too complicated after all. <laughs> Before watchOS 7, you needed to download a third-party app if you wanted to track your sleep, but now there's a native sleep app on watchOS 7. With this app, you can now create your bedtime schedules to help you meet your sleep goals. Just remember to wear your watch while you sleep and the Apple Watch automatically takes over. Once you're awake, you can open up the sleep app to check how long you've been asleep. You can also check the amount and quality of sleep you got the night before and your sleep average over the last 14 days. Okay, so now that we have uh, finished our little tips and tricks session for the Apple Watch, what do you actually think about Watch OS 7 or the Apple Watch? I, I think it's pretty impressive, like, especially my favourite part is the an emoji the and emoji, the Mi emoji right? on yeah, your yeah, watch yeah. face. Yeah, that's super cool and there's like a lot of expression when you like click on it. So that's really cute. But I, unfortunately, this one doesn't have the an emoji one. Like there's animals, you know. Why, where would you want to be an animal when you can have yourself? Animals are cute, you know, there's unicorns, there's <laughs> monkeys. I think that uh, the Apple Watch OS is probably one of the most polished watch operating systems out there compared to like, you know, the other competitors. Yeah, you try a lot of app, uh, watches, right? Yeah, smart yeah, watches, I've been doing yeah. a lot of smart watches and so far I've spent like maybe a week or two with the Apple Watch Series 6. It's not any different from the Watch Series 5, a lot of the benefits that are with uh, the Watch Series 6 comes with Watch OS 7, mm. which means that everybody who has Watch OS 7 benefits from that. Even, you know, Watch Series 3 and all the smart watches. So, I, I think that it's a really, really great device, although it's still quite expensive. Lah. How much is it? Uh? Don't know, but don't we will know? list it out here. Oh, okay. Okay. Can't remember exactly. Here, here, here. Not don't know, lah. of course I know, but cannot remember exactly. Less than 2K, can? No, definitely less than 2K. Okay. It starts then, then at about 1,000 okay, for, right Marcus? Not listening lah, <laughs> this guy. Yes. Okay, but we'll put the price down here la, so you yeah. can check them out, okay? Okay, so that brings us to the end of today's video of how to what is or hitwi, <laughs> as we like to call uh, it. No, we didn't. We Anyways, didn't call it like that. Uh, do let us know what you think of the episode, and if you have any future suggestions or if you want us to explore something new, let us know in the comment section below, or you can join us on Facebook at our RKMD Facebook page. Uh, Ray is gonna put the description link down below. Oh, I mean the link in the description box down below. And yeah, we really look forward to hearing from you. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to give it a thumbs up, like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss future awesome videos like this. Okay, so this is Nick. And Ray. Signing off. Bye. Bye.